Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Doom 3! Oh yeah, I needed I uh, I felt like, oh somebody said something on Steam. Um, I felt like I need to kill stuff, so you know. Because I'm very stressed about this new exam coming up, so you know. I thought playing some Doom 3 might, you know, be good for me, I don't know. I think that's a stupid idea, but whatever. <laughs> Let's do this. So, I'm very stressed now, and I might die before the exam because of stress, so... Uh, I mean, I'll probably upload this after the exam, but if this is the last episode I ever upload of anything, I'm probably dead. So, you know, it's been an honor making less plays, but, you know, if I die, I see you in hell. <laughs> oh my god, not one of these. I get it, you know, if I die. I th wait, wait, I'm just gonna turn on the volume. There we go. <laughs> get it, when I die, I see you in hell. <laughs> it's, uh... Damn, it's still uh, quite loud. It's funny because I'm playing Doom 3. Ha 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 get the joke. I should get the joke. Wait, haven't I been here already? No, I haven't. Damn, I missed. I'm a little fat, so. Damn it. PDA. Oh no, and there's a demon. God, is one of these? Wait, I'm gonna fucking change on him. Oh my god, it worked! Because it's very dangerous to use, uh, use the chainsaw on, like, heavier demons, because they don't die fast enough uh, when you're melee, and then they just hit you back before you're able to kill him. I mean, the easy. Okay, wait, what? Security. I mean, thing. anti cycle blah, blah, blah. I probably need to listen to one of these things. What's in here? Storage. Mm, I don't remember. Ha! <laughs> it's probably just crap. Born and shit. Um. Yeah, you should never use the chainsaw for, like, heavier demons. I kinda wanna get in there though. How do I get in here? Maybe. Do I need to use these boxes? Maybe. Ah ha ha! Ooh, cells and rockets. Cells! I got cells! I got. I got like. I got the building blocks of life. <laughs> Hooray! Okay, I should not think about that right now. Oh, is he like sitting Making down? Progress, Marine. Your journey is futile. You will die, and your soul will be mine. <laughs> well, everybody will die eventually, you know. So, oh god. No, that was stupid. Oh, Raveny, Raveny, and um, or whatever they're called. The skeleton rocket guy. Come on, come on. Show yourself. Show yourself! Okay, you died. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, I remember this. Um, I remember this. We meet up a guy here, I think. Human, that is. <laughs> a live one. Speaking. Not that guy, he's dead. Because that's just the torso, you know. But there is. No. Yeah, here he is. There. Oh, thank God. You're not one of them. I thought everyone else was gone. I. I was part of this. I helped them. The madness of opening to another dimension. Look, I, I don't. We don't have much time. We let it through. The evil. The protective stabilizer on the portal just failed after Petruger took the device. It, it was an artifact we had found in the ruins. He took it into the portal. And hell followed him out. You have to help me first. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try to get the teleporter systems running again. The areas are destroyed around us, so it's the only way through this part of the complex. You need to find me a working plasma inducer. It's all I need to get the teleporter working. You can look for it in operations. I have a security clearance. I'll unlock some doors for you. Thank you. There. See ya. We don't have a lot of time. Please hurry. Shut up! 
So yeah, uh, the <laughs> the artifact he talks about is the soul cube. And the theory I had there in the monorail section where we had this voice, uh, it's a soul cube talking to us. Because Petruga took it that back to hell. And, and we need to go there and get it. You need to fucking get it! Because this thing is important to us. This thing helped the ancient civilization beat, like, or like fight this horde of living nightmares. So we need to get it back, basically. Um, I'm not gonna read this, but in case you wanna read it, I'm gonna make a frame here so you can pause the video and read it. And then I'm gonna make another frame here, there, you can pause it and read it. And I'm gonna make another frame here, and pause it, and you can read it. I'm gonna make another frame here, and you can pause it. Okay, okay, good. Have you read it? Good. But I'm not gonna read it. Uh, but basically, it's. Uh, oh, my hand. Uh, it's. <laughs> Where's the teleporter? Uh, I'm not supposed to go there yet. I need to find find something for him to make the teleporter work so I can teleport to... A, the, the, the teleporter here isn't the main Delta teleporter. It's just one of the teleporters here in Delta. Ah, but, 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 but I need to use it to get across here. What the fuck? So yeah, I'm gonna find this. Ow! Ow! That hurt. Now what? I can't remember if I'm supposed to go here or there. That's a good question. Let's go over here. Gross! I'm gonna teach you to eat humans! Oh god! I mean, zombies! <laughs> oh, yeah, oh yeah, I have a body here. Yeah, this is locked. Halon systems active. Access denied. Halon? Is that like a gas or something? Weird. So I guess I can go to the bio labs. Could you stop eating each other? Uh oh. Badass. Trying to kill me with the wrench. This doesn't look nice. <laughs> wow. I do not want to be treated in this hospital. Holy Medical shit. Report 16 November 2nd. <laughs> oh yeah, baby. What was that? Rabbit Jensen was suffering from paranoid Ah, blah blah. He's talking about some, about some patients going crazy. Hey, what's this? Ah, cool. Oh, look, they're storing imps parts. So yeah, soon, uh, soon we get to see that there actually is, you know, the thing I talked about in the previous episode, I believe, that they store like uh, demons here, because when the first, when they first built the portal and went in, they uh, obviously went to hell and they were like, what? The kind of place it does. And it took back some creatures to study them here. Well, uh, yeah, deep. Whoa. So, I mean, before hell broke loose, they probably, I mean, they knew about this dimension, but they had this, you know, this thing to protect them from, well, to protect them from uh, hell coming through from the other side, so, you know. Yeah, we'll taste this. No, oh, now what? Hey, you want some of this too? You want some of this too? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. You like that? Huh? You want some too? Huh? Huh? Oh God! I'm kind of scaring myself sometimes. Like, I need to kill stuff to like feel relaxed. That's not like, weird. It's like a sign of like a psycho killer or something. <laughs> no, I don't know. Ah! Oh, you had a butt buddy with you. Nice. Okay, this is weird. You see, this door is locked, but I can get in there. And by getting in there, I need to use this weird crane things. So I'm gonna take number three. Oh, 
I mean, I, I think these contain different body parts. Oh my god, look at that skull! That's a huge skull, look at that. That's not from a- what the hell is up with the thing? It's almost like a monitor. Weird. And uh, that's not an imp skull, that's something else. Something bigger. <laughs> wait, wait, is it? No, this is what this isn't what I think it is. Because Hell Knight Does it have eyes like that? Oh, I can't remember. It might be Hell Knight, I don't know. Whatever. Uh so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this number three where number six is supposed to be. And I'm gonna jump on it and you know, ride it. Oh my god, it's like a roller coaster! Woohoohoo! Ew, gross stuff. Yeah, now, now we need to jump. Like a boss. Take this backpack and go in this vent and listen to the scary sound. Take the health and stop. Saying everything I do. Ta da! Oh shit, there were two of them. <laughs> I bet they were kind of scared. Oh, it's this place. It's this place. Uh, uh, okay, 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 whatever. This, this is the place I meant. You know, the guy we saved in like a couple of episodes ago, or like many episodes ago, uh, the guy was trapped in this chamber. Let's see, M. Abrams. He was trapped in this chamber. Uh, if you rescue him, you're able to access this uh, PDA from A A A members, uh, Michael Abrams. And if you do that, you're able to access this BFG. But but I'm just gonna remember invalid number of code. The thing is, in the in the security repo, it says what the code is, but it's, it's wrong, and they fixed it in this mail. So I'm gonna listen to this. Security log number three zero seven two for the Delta BFG. Security. Michael Abrams, November fifteenth, two one four five. I've just come from the armament division where I was issued one of the new BFG 9000 series weapons. <laughs> While they weren't kidding about how much lighter it is over previous prototype models, won't be so bad carrying this one around. <laughs> Anyhow, for a couple of weeks now, many of the security teams have not been following proper reporting procedures. Not sure if it's the format of the new SIR, so I'll make sure each team is scheduled by training division to get spun up on the new reports. There have been some security issues in the Alpha Labs. I sent a team over to investigate, and now I can't reach them on any comm channel. Guess I'll have to go over there myself. <sighs> well, I'm headed over there now. I'll finish the security report in full when I get back. Oh yeah, one more thing. I'm gonna leave this BFG locked in my office for now. Please have IT security change my door code to 901. Sure as hell don't need anyone messing around with it. Chief Abrams, and the law. Zero one. The thing is, there's no zero on this, so they changed the zero to uh, with the three. So it's nine. Th it's nine three one. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! How do I open it? Oh, here we go. oh, oh, mm, 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 oh, mm, mm. Okay, okay. Okay, let's take it. Let's take it. Let's take it. Oh! Oh! Oh, I got the BFG. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, it's a good weapon. Shut up now. <laughs> you remember the BFG from the classic Dooms? It was like... Oh, it was this amazing weapon. You can kill like everything in a room in like one shot. Oh, it's so good. Airline systems deactivated. Uh, it's still like a... It's still like a thing here. No, it's not the same combination as there. Oh, come on, now what? Oh, I have full? I do. Now I don't. Wait, isn't there supposed to be a PDA in here? I guess not. You don't have a PDA? No. Oh well. If I remember correctly, I opened something in this other place now. Holy shit! Yeah, 
Yeah, I opened something in here now. Oh! I mean, God damn it! Can you die? <sighs> oh, I missed. Sorry, folks. Wait, I hear footsteps. Zombies. Oh yeah, I know what I opened. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah, here we go. The thing is, if, if I go here before I open that, all this will be locked down. Like, I can't open these doors, and there will be zombies in these different offices, or whatever. Whoa. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, there will be zombies in these different offices. It's cool to go here before it's unlocked, because then... It, then you see the zombies behind the doors, and they're like smashing their head against the wall. I mean, I mean like the glass, and it's kind of gross. But it looks kind of cool. Man, there's a bunch of PDAs here. There are oh, here, here's a combination for something. Five, three, eight. Five, three, eight. Five, three, eight. Oh my god, why did you use the plasma gun on zombies? You're fucking wasting ammo, you idiot! Well, shut up, I have like a million, million ammo, so... I can do whatever I want! Okay, uh... Ah, uh, well, look. Maybe you're supposed to like not waste ammo on this game, because I I always have full of everything all the time. Maybe you're supposed to waste it more than I do. Or maybe you're not supposed to find as much ammo as I am doing. Uh, let's see, it's lunch. Uh, wait, this is the right storage. Because the storage was 112, I think. Yeah. Huh. Oh, what the? Oh, well, I'm, I'm supposed to get one of those cells. Plasma inducers. I think we can. I can. I think we can get down this elevator actually. If you remove this, yeah, there we go. He <laughs> And now we should go back to the guy, and we're gonna use the teleporter, and we're gonna be like, oh, crazy, crazy. No, shit. <laughs> Where are you? Oh god, this is this is weird. Come on, come on, bring it on. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Ah, all the blood. Okay, that was bad. Maybe it's the commandant that was over here. It was the locker here, wasn't it? Here it is. No, it's not that locker. What the fuck? Whatever. I'm not gonna care about it. Okay, where is the teleport guy? Is he here? No, that's where I came from. Here he is. Dude, I got your stuff. Excellent. That will get the teleporter working again. Now, you don't have much time. You're going to need to teleport across the containment chamber. It's the only way through this part of the complex. Head into the chamber and initiate the sequence on the machine. I'll take care of the rest. I'm not going with you. I want that video. Good luck. But before you go, I want you to take something. It's a journal I made about the experiments. Uh, those things. It's all there. It'll explain everything. Thank you. Get it to someone so this net. No, wait, wait, what? You said what? Ah, oh, sorry, I missed the last part. Get out to the teleporter pad. Ah, oh. I'm ready here. Ah, oh, fuck, sorry. 
Yeah, I think it's like, you just take it to someone so this never is forgotten or something. But anyway, I'm, I'm actually gonna watch this video, because it's pretty important to the story. My name is Ian McCormick, and I'm a research specialist stationed on Mars, working for the UAC. My primary job is, or rather, was, to assist Dr. Malcolm Trooper in a variety of experiments, though for the past year we've been focusing almost exclusively on teleportation. I don't know if I'll make it out here alive, so I'm recording this video a lot to let someone know what happened. But with that knowledge, prevent it from happening again. Initially, the teleportation experiments were amazing, were creating a new science, the prospects of it changing our way of life were, well, they were outstanding. I was proud to be associated with such an amazing project and someone as talented as Dr. Petruger. We noticed early on, well, probably before we completed maybe a dozen successful tests, that there was a variable delay during the teleportation. The objects are broken down at the quantum level, transformed, and then assembled. Each stage of the process should have been instantaneous, but it, it wasn't, and we didn't know why. We sent a video drone through and were shocked at the images sent back. Just a few frames of video right before the drone came back here you showed appeared to be several sets of eyes looking directly at the moon. We had just found a living, breathing creature that was not human. The Truger immediately sent out a request for volunteers. He specifically wanted UAC security force members because he wanted to capture one of these creatures. <sighs> I made a lot of mistakes, but I am most ashamed of my involvement during the next phase. To get medical clearance to send human subjects through the device, I, I doctored up several of our reports to indicate that we had performed living tissue experiments. I did not regret it at the time, but a few days later, when our third test subject came back, he was chewing off his own fingers. It seemed that he was clinically insane. We started sending teams in about once every two days. Experiences, sightings of things that ultimately make us look cool, but the other dimension was not just another dimension. It was hell. The creatures we were bringing back. Demons. And then Petruger, he went through the portal himself. I, I don't know what he was thinking. It was an unscheduled trip, and he just went, and we couldn't stop him. And when he came back, he changed. Look the same, but he just I, I don't know, he did. it's just different. And then he did the unthinkable. He took the soul cube, a device that was discovered in the ruins, into the portal. The portal stabilizers just started to fail. And then living hell erupted into the base. Oh, we were stupid for not destroying the portals as soon as we realized what was on the other side. Oh, God, forgive me. I blame myself for my part in this. Please, someone, never let this happen again. I'm sorry, Ian McCormick. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's a pretty deep shit. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah, I'm like, I'm getting... I'm getting weird just listening to that. Damn, this is really... Really fucked up. Like they sent people in. Wow. Okay, that's amazing. I'm not gonna talk about more about that because I feel like I need to end this episode. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.